So what the OR function does, as it's described here, is it checks whether any of the arguments are true. So any of the arguments here are true, and it returns a true. And it only returns a false if all the arguments are false. So in this example, let's say that I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to use OR here. So OR, uh, open parentheses, if uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2, and then 0 plus 0 equals 0, and then uh, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Right? So in, if any of the conditions are true, these are all true right here, it's going to bring back a true. Now let's say one of them is false. Let's say 0 plus 0 equals 2. It's still going to bring back a true because at least one of the conditions are met. Now if all the conditions are not met, uh, 1 plus 1 does not equal 2, let's make it equals 4, and then 2 plus 1 uh, equals 1 plus 2 equals 5, right? So they're all false. So only in that instance it will bring back a false. So how can we use the OR function? What we can do is, let me go ahead and go into sheet 1 here and give you an example. Let's say we have products that are sold all around the world. Um, the ship to country is different. These are two letter designations for the country, like CA would be Canada, uh, NL would be the Netherlands, GB would be uh, Great Britain or UK. So we have a ship to country, we have the build to country, where where, the, where is the company that we're going to build to? Where, what country are they in? And we have maybe have an end user country. Maybe uh, a partner is buying it for their end customer and they are, um, even though they're, they are sh they are shipped to the product, the product shipped to their country where the where the company is and they're built to maybe they disperse these products to uh, other customers that are in different countries so that would be the end user country so those are kind of the scenarios that we have so l let's say that we were kind of do some analysis and we'd like to find out if a product fits the criteria for all the countries like for example we want to see what's all the activity uh, in Canada can this be done? Well, yes, it could be done. It could be done with the OR function. So how can we do that? Well, what basically what we're going to do is we're going to indicate uh, with the OR function. So what we're going to do is we're going to say equals OR and then does that equals CA. I put this in quotes. I have to put these in quotes because it's text. Uh, if uh, B2 equals uh, CA and then uh, if C2 equals CA. Right? So that's going to fit a true. Let me go ahead and close parentheses and press enter because all of these fit CA. Let me go ahead and double click this fill handle to bring down uh, the formulas. Now you'll notice that uh, that will be true, that will be true, uh, that will be true. So now we can see that you know with uh, this particular second row or this first record here we have ship to, build to, and end user country is Canada and that's true. And it's the same for uh, this third record and uh, the second record and this uh, third record. Now if we go down here a little bit more, let me go ahead and go page down a little bit more, uh, we see the same examples here. But once, once we get to this example here, uh, the ship to is not Canada, it is the US, even though the build to and end user countries are uh, Canada. But that's still true because at least one of these conditions is met. At least one of these cells equals Canada. So what we can do here in this example is kind of give it a little bit more uh, interactivity. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Home to go back up to the top. Um, instead of having to always fill out these particular portions, if it equals Canada or, or whatnot, I can actually create a, a kind of a little helper cell up here. Let me go ahead and insert some rows here. Control Shift plus plus. I'm going to insert some rows here and maybe I'll just type enter country, right? And then this country will be Canada. So in what I'm going to do is, so instead of hard coding uh, the values here for CA each time, I'm going to have it call this particular cell. So that's going to always, this is always going to call or reference uh, cell, let me move the little tip here. Let me move this tip over here. It's going to reference cell D1. So it's going to reference D1. So I'm going to make that an absolute cell reference by pressing the F4 key. It's going to put a dollar sign in front of the D and the 1. And what happens there is it, when, when I copy the formulas down, uh, you'll notice that it, when I go to other cells, the cell references will shift. That Since there's no dollar signs in front of the A and 4 here, it's going to shift down to um, A5, A6. 
but since this has a dollar sign in front of it, the cell reference stays uh, the same. It's called an absolute cell reference versus a relative cell reference, which would be A4. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what that, that looks like once we complete this formula. Now, with uh, D1 here, I also want to make that this one D1. So I'm going to just go ahead and just uh, copy this. Uh, select that Control c to copy. And then instead of CA over here, uh, Control v to copy. And instead of uh, CA over here, Control v to copy. Press Enter. And now you notice it still rings true, right? So I'll go ahead and double click the fill handle to bring that formula down. And as I mentioned before, let me go into to D5 here. As I mentioned before, there's the concept of the absolute versus relative cell reference. As I copied it down, you see D1 stays the same, but the reference here to the other cells are different. If I go down to some other cells, you'll notice that the row references, uh, it, it increments A6, A7, A8, uh, same with B and C, they increment. But the other cell, the D1 reference, stays the same. So, so there's this concept of absolute versus uh, relative cell references. Now the, the beauty here of, of having this helper cell here is if I wanted to say, if I want to type uh, Netherlands, let me go ahead and just type NL, press enter. You'll notice now that all changes here, so I'll, I don't need to go into it each time to type uh, NL here. I just need to type NL here or whatever country and use it there. And once that I press enter, the references come into play and it calculates it out. So we have uh, NL, which is the Netherlands, and this rings true because at least one of these cells has NL. Of course, it doesn't work here in uh, the first record here because they're all CA. So there's the example of what the OR function does and how it can be used in this specific example. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.